move right on then and connect with Sumit Deb. He's a CMD at NMDC, joining in to talk a little bit more about the demerger and what it means for shareholders, as well as the outlook on the industry as a whole. Thanks so much for taking time out, uh, Mr. Deb. To begin with, NMDC Steel's demerger now has taken place. The listing is behind us. The next trigger is going to be the stake sale by the government in NMDC Steel. With them currently holding about 60.8% stake, what is the update on this front? Any timeline you can share? No, not really. At, at this point of time, the disinvestment ministry, that is DPAM, is running this uh, disinvestment process. So uh, it will take some time to, uh, to actually get in the uh, detailed information. All right, and given that NMDC Steel's um, uh, Nagarnar plant is under construction, it's likely to be commissioned only about a month or so. Is that on track? And what's your total capex over there? So uh, we started the co uh, uh, Cocoon batteries. That is the first phase of the steel plant. Uh, Cocoon battery one is one uh, is the uh, is we have what we have started in October, and uh, that is fully functional now. Next is in line is the center plant and then the battery two, and then subsequently the blast furnace and the SMS. The total capex which has been spent on the steel plant uh, should uh, finally end up at 24,000 crores. Uh, currently, we have spent almost 21, so, so another two, two and a half, uh, two and a half, three thousand crores to go. Right. You know, the lower average selling price and higher operating costs have clearly impacted your Q3 performance. But as global economic concerns tame, uh, can we expect Q4 to be better? Yes, definitely. The uh, in, in case of the iron ore industry, the the, the fourth quarter is looking up. Uh, prices are also looking up. Global prices have been have gone up. Steel prices have improved, and we uh, we will definitely see an improved performance in the fourth quarter. Right, and average domestic iron ore prices they've largely remained flat on a sequential basis, but metal prices have seen a rise yet again. Uh, have raw material prices also risen in tandem, and can then could uh, you know, uh, realizations also see an uptick in the coming quarters. So Q1 and Q2, Q2 basically have been uh, down, prices were down, but then Q3, we have seen improvement in the prices of iron ore and Q4, uh, there has been a substantial improvement. Uh, the steel prices have also gone up, like I've mentioned, and uh, we would see improved uh, realization in the, in the fourth quarter. On the back of the export due to November, and MDC has taken multiple price hikes. Have the price hikes been absorbed? Is the demand strong enough now? Yes, we, we are seeing a very, very, very strong demand uh, in the market. And uh, Q4 is uh, normally the business end of the year, and most of the companies are uh, ramping, uh, are uh, pushing production. So we, we have seen a huge, huge, huge pull in the demand. Uh, given that globally as well, prices have risen, more than, are there more price hikes on the anvil? Could you quantify that for us? Going forward, yes, we are looking at the current scenario uh, and the steel prices also. We are, we are uh, including the global prices. I think uh, that is not ruled out. And post the export duty rollback, are iron ore exports now more favorable than the domestic sale? Is the company looking to ramp up their uh, export sales now? Yes, we are looking seriously looking at exports also uh, uh, for lower grade of uh, iron ore. But then that will come only after the domestic demand is met. Uh, however, exports uh, remain uh, a priority, uh, especially in the Karnataka sector. We would intend to do some exports also. And accordingly, we are looking at the various options. Right. And given that NMDC steel has now been demerged, any capex towards steel plant, that's not going to affect NMDC's balance sheet because, you know, you do not have any major capex lined up either. So should investors expect, up, say, a higher dividend? As far as capex goes, yes, we we have substantial capex lined up in terms of our slurry pipeline, the pellet plant. Uh, so all these will uh, and the beneficiation plant, uh, which are already in progress at this point of time. So that will uh, involve some capex uh, in, in the in the in the in this financial year. year. Obviously, a dividend is something which we have always uh, given, and uh, a generous dividend has always been there. So that's all, all always uh, there on the cards. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Mr. Deb, for joining in and giving us the roadmap for NMDC Steel post that demerger.